Hello. In today's Ling lesson, we'll be talking about how variant sentence structure can help your academic writing. As tutors and TAs in the Center for American English Language and Culture at UVA, we often see students fall into the trap of having bland writing. Short sentences are really good to use in your paper, but you want to use them sparingly. So surround your short sentences with longer ones. Compound sentence is made up of two independent clauses. Each of them contain its own subjects and verb, both set on their own without any other context. An example of compound sentences, I've never been to London, but I do enjoy dubstep. Two independent clauses can be linked without a conjunction using a semicolon. However, the independent clauses should be contextually similar. They need to complement or contrast each other. So, here's an example of two sentences that should not be joined by a semicolon. I like to eat at Bodo's for lunch. I don't think there are enough shirtless sunbathers on the lawn. Here, your two sentences aren't contextually similar. Your love of Bodo's doesn't really have much to do with your love of sunbathers. A complex sentence contains one independent clause and one dependent clause. That is, one clause with a subject and a verb, and one clause with a subordinating conjunction. One clause will contain a complete thought, while another will use a subordinating conjunction, such as before, even though, after, etc. Here's a full list. Also, a comma should, should separate each clause. Here's another example. Even though I've never set foot on a boat, I do enjoy wearing Sperry's. Okay. Make sure when you're writing these sentences that you don't create run-on sentences or fragments. Often in English, the best sentences aren't the longest ones. Run-on sentences occur when there are two or more independent clauses in a sentence without a connector or a comma. Here's an example of a run-on sentence. See if you can tell what's wrong with it. Last Friday night, I went running without my shirt for five miles, and then I bought a smoothie from Freshens when I saw my TA near a bench with my grandfather's name on it. Sentence fragment is an incomplete sentence. They're made when students omit either the subject or the verb of a sentence. More often than not, international students will omit the verb to be. Lastly, we'll talk about parallel structure. When items are listed in a sequence, they should follow the same grammatical structures. For instance, Preston likes eating expensive sandwiches from Take It Away, wearing the cross pennies, and to quote Thomas Jefferson. Really, the sentence should be, Preston likes eating expensive sandwiches from Take It Away, wearing the cross pennies, and quoting Thomas Jefferson. So, in closing, vary your sentence structure, try to surround longer sentences with shorter sentences, and avoid putting too many messages into one sentence. This has been your linguistics lesson on sentence structure, and I hope you guys had a good time. Bye.